Well, hi, I'm Jeff Strong. I'm creator of the Auditory Brain Stimulation Therapy Rhythmic Entrainment Intervention. And I'm also co-founder and creative director of BrainShift Radio. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you a, an EEG study of uh, one of our clients. This is an adult male with ADHD. I'm going to show you their brain in real time as they listen to an REI Custom Program track. Now, the REI Custom Program is our basic program. It's a um, program where we do an intake process, we determine what your issues are, and then we custom create recordings, generally on a two-week basis. You listen once a day in your home. And what we're trying to do here is several things. Number one, we're, we're teaching the brain how to go into a relaxed state called alpha. Now, alpha is a relaxed alert neurological state. Our brainwave patterns are between about 8 and 13 hertz or 13 cycles or beats per second. Um, that creates calm. That creates a receptiveness and an organized neurological state. Um, we're also hoping to get, in this instance, we're hoping to get focus. Um, focus is basically uh, how the front part of the brain, the frontal lobe, acts. And what we're looking for here is activity that has uh, a low level of beta activity and a fairly high level of, of alpha activity. And I'll show you um, in the imageries that I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll show you we have a, a, a visualizer which shows when this is happening. It's a real simple way of seeing it. And then we're going to also be looking for synchronization. Synchronization is where the brain um, doesn't have any hot spots, where the activity across the whole spectrum of the brain is pretty even. You couple that with entrainment and you've got a pretty powerful effect. And then the last thing we're going to be looking at with the custom program is um, specificity. What happens uh, when you have very specific rhythms? Is, does the brain respond differently? Uh, one of the keys with the custom program is, is we build the, the recordings in somebody's program progressively to kind of help their brains learn how to respond differently to sensory stimulus and learn how to just be more malleable. This is called neuroplasticity. And um, it's like exercise for the brain. And so I'll show you uh, later on when we get further into this, this person's listening that, that there's some activity that's going to be going on which shows that specificity is happening. The brain is actually being exercised. So let me start this real quickly and you can take a look um, initially here, this is uh, no music, um, and uh, just to kind of give you a breakdown of what's going on here, the upper left is simply um, a graph showing that the, the, the activity across the, 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 the eight points that we're capturing data in this particular uh, study. Um, and that, that gives us an opportunity to see what's going on with each individual wave and see if there's anything we need to be looking at there. Um, the upper right is what's called the FFT plot. This is showing the brain activity for these eight channels across the spectrum of human consciousness. So this graph goes on the left side is basically zero hertz or zero beats per second. That would be no brain activity. And then, and then all the way up to 60 hertz, which is up in the gamma range. Uh, human brain activity can basically be divided into um, five different uh, general areas. The, the lowest is delta. Delta exists between 0.5 and around three, three and a half cycles per second or hertz. Uh, that's going to represent the very slimmest margin on the left side of this graph on the upper right. Uh, the next level is four to seven hertz. That's theta. Theta is an inwardly directed state. It's um, meditation, trance state, uh, depending on where you are. The next level of consciousness is alpha. Alpha exists between about 8 and 13 hertz, 13 cycles per second. Um, that's the state we're going for for entrainment here. We're actually trying to entrain the low end of alpha, around 7 and a half, 8 beats per second. And then the next level of consciousness is beta. Beta is about 13 to 30. Uh, hertz or cycles per second, and that's our normal wakefulness. The next level of consciousness is 30 and above, and that's a gamma. Uh, we're going up to 60 here. So um, the next section is on the lower left. is called our focus widget. Um, it basically shows you whether a person is focused or not. It's looking at the front uh, two electrodes, uh, it's the frontal lobes, and what we're looking for is a relationship between alpha and beta. The two vertical bars that you see on the right are um, alpha and beta. The left one is alpha, the right one is beta. And um, there's a little, little yellow bars that go up and down. Uh, they're going to show you the activity level of alpha and beta 
um, in real time what's happening. And then that circle on the left will glow green when the person is focused, when both the alpha and the beta are in the place they should be in, uh, which means beta is really low and alpha is a little bit higher. That's our focus widget. And the, hopefully with this person, this person is an adult male with ADHD, we will be able to see focusing happening. Uh, and then the lower right is simply a head plot. The head plot is, is basically looking at the head from over, overhead. Um, the north is the nose. And um, there are basically eight channels we're going to be tracking today. The two front ones, two across the middle, and four across the back. And uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. So let me go ahead and play this. Um, like I said, this is an adult male with ADHD. The main, the main two uh, graphs to look at here and to keep an eye on the most are going to be the upper right and the lower right. That's the, the, um, the FFT plot, which shows the brain uh, wave activity across the spectrum. And you're going to be looking for a spike on the left side and a, potentially a spike in the right side, ultimately. And then the lower right with the head plot, you're going to be looking for an even color, even distribution. This is synchronization. So right now at the beginning, this person's pretty relaxed. Um, but, and there's, there's starting to be some spikes or some activity in the... Um, you know, random activity in the lower end. Um, and then as the music starts here, you'll see, um, you know, it'll take a little while for the music to really have an impact. But as the music starts here, you'll start seeing some changes. One thing to keep in mind here is that um, there's, there's a pretty even distribution of, of brain activity as it is. I mean, you don't see the waves on the upper right uh, diverging from each other that much. On the lower right, you're not seeing a lot of different colors. You're not seeing hot spots, you know, bright spots or dark spots. It's pretty even activity. And on the lower left, you'll see um, focusing starting to happen a little bit. You'll see some activity that shows there's some changes right now. Um, you know, the, the, left, the left vertical, the, the alpha is starting to blink a little bit. It'll take a while for, for this to happen. Focus does take a while, especially with somebody with ADHD. Here at three and a half minutes, you can see there's starting to be a spike here on the upper right um, at the low end uh, of the left side. And that is basically um, brainwave entrainment. That's an alpha brainwave entrainment that's happening. That's the low end of alpha, upper end of theta right where the tempo of the drumming is. So uh, let me turn up the music here and you can hear the, hear the drumming a little bit. And you'll basically the, hear that that underlying pattern of the drumming, the tempo, um, that is what the brain is going to entrain to. So that, that tempo of that drumming is what you're seeing is a spike in the upper right's uh, graph on the left side of it. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit so you can hear. And you'll notice that spike So that's entrainment, uh, that's, that's the brainwave patterns matching the tempo of the drumming. You'll notice there's still other brain activity. Uh, entrainment is a predominance of a particular frequency that you're trying to get to synchronize to, the, to, the, uh, to, to whatever the stimulus is. It doesn't mean that, that there's no other activity in the brain, um, but it does mean that you're going to see uh, a preponderance of that particular uh, activity. Now. Um, Take a look at the lower left, you're starting to see some focus happen. It's taken four or five minutes, more than five minutes to happen. Um, but now it's now the brain is focused. And um, you'll see that by, by the both verticals being in the green and then that green circle. And the focus will come in and go a little bit, um, which is typical, especially with somebody with ADHD. But we're getting in that state right now. You're looking at brainwave entrainment and focusing happening at the same time. The lower right's showing a, a pretty high level of synchronization, um, which basically means that the, the entire brain is kind of going together. Pretty similar, similar brain activity, which you can also see in the upper right. Those waves that are going across the spectrum are lining up pretty well. Um, so this is the basics for, for what we call synchronization with, um, with REI, is the idea of getting a heightened brainwave activity at the tempo of the drumming rhythms, uh, getting a synchronization in the brain so there's no hot spots, there's no darker light spots uh, across the brain itself. This is a receptive state, basically. The, the, the brain is relaxed, the person is receptive. We've got focus here, if you look at the lower left. 
Um, this is all really good, but this is only part of what happens with an REI custom program. The REI custom program, in order to work and, and be able to change the brain over time, needs to uh, exercise the brain. At this point, we need to um, create rhythms that are intense enough and strange enough and unpredictable enough. The brain has to work to decipher them. And, and what we're going to try to do here is get the brain to start responding and activating. And if I, if I, if I go a little further along in, into the thing here, I'm just going to jump ahead a ways. Now take a look at the right side, uh, both the upper and the lower graphs. You're going to see number one on the bottom with the head plot. You're going to see the colors changing. You're going to see uh, lighter areas, darker areas, because now that the, the rhythm, that the brain is starting to, 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 to activate in different ways. It's no longer synchronized. Now certain areas of the brain are working harder than others trying to decipher the patterns. Now if you also look at the upper right graph, you're going to see a divergence a little bit on the upper right side. Um, and you're going to see the raised activity on the right. You're going to actually see a peak here towards the end. That's gamma activity. That again is the brain working to try and figure out what's going on with the drumming. So right now we are looking at what happens with progressive stimulation, with exercising the brain with an REI custom program track. Um, I'm going to do a video in, a, in, a, in a, another week or so where I'm going to compare this to uh, another approach we take with brain shift radio where we don't see this because we're not trying to exercise the brain quite in the same way. But in this instance you're seeing the diversion and you're seeing a higher activity on the right. That's the gamma. That is specificity forcing the brain to start working to figure things out. You still have focus if you look at the lower left. The, the front part of the brain is still very focused, but other parts of the brain are being activated as they're trying to decipher the actual patterns that are going on. Um, you still have, for the most part, entrainment. It's a little more subtle now. You'll see that peak in the lower end of the upper right graph is not as high as it was. As a matter of fact, the, the, the far right side of that same graph, the gamma frequencies, are matching it. That, again, is what we're looking for. Uh, we, we, want, we want the gamma to, to really show as activity. We want to see a change in the colors across the brain to know that the brain is working. So uh, this is basically what you have when you, when you have uh, an REI custom pro program. You have brainwave entrainment. You have a focus ability uh, on the front part of the brain. And then you have other activity throughout the brain as the brain tries to decipher the patterns. So. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is really cool. Uh, it's nice to see this with an adult with ADHD because adults' brains are a little bit more hard to kind of, kind of track to, to change as, as a child. Um, and ADHD generally getting, getting a heightened level of, of that, that low alpha, getting that focus going on is a big deal because most people with ADHD, their brains kind of shut down. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance to try BrainShift Radio, definitely do that. If you're interested in the custom program and seeing what we can do with regards to getting your brain to exercise, uh, definitely check out the links below.